Super Mario and the Thousand Year Door! Well, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is the second installment in the Paper Mario series. Released from the Nintendo GameCube in 2004, the game is an RPG as the first Paper Mario, featuring both turn-based battles and puzzle and platforming focused challenges on the overworld, as well as collaborating with a party of friendly characters. Uh, there is uh, Koopa Troopa that you essentially is one of the characters. There is also um, one of those shell guys. I, I can't think of the names right now. But yeah, you meet different characters and they kind of join your party. The story has Mario travel to ramshackle town of Rogueport to meet Princess Peach after the news she acquired a map leading to an ancient treasure. He soon finds that Peach has been kidnapped again and comes in conflict with the x uh Malevolent Secret Society. And Mario's quest has him collect the seven crystal stars, mysterious artifacts of great power that are linked to an ancient evil sealed deep below Rogueport. This is one of the first retro impressions that we played that had me losing track of time i was able to get near the end of the second chapter as i placed the two stones that i just acquired but was unable to find the secret pipe that would take me to the next castle I honestly can't wait to get back to this game. I absolutely love it. I, I remember playing the first Paper Mario game. I believe it came out on the N64, if I'm not mistaken. And I just remember playing it and just how different it looked and the style and just a Mario game and an RPG. The fact that it works well together it just it's astonishing but it does it works extremely well i knew paper mario was an rpg going into it but i just love how the game not only looks with the origami paper style even have you it even has you folding into a paper airplane to get to the next area It's not only awesome to see what the game has, but it has a 3D looking effect without it being 3D. There is essentially, as you're kind of walking past, you can kind of see behind certain doors or whatever, but yeah, it, 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 the scope and uh, like how far that it feels like, it, it just it feels like a 3d game that you're playing the game has you with only two characters at a time battled out against random koopas and various other enemies and bosses the stone based enemies from what i found can only be defeated using a pow switch which i found interesting and also a little frustrating but you do get coins after each battle and you can build up pretty quick so essentially there's also an audience that is watching you so if you do a move correctly like let's say you uh, jump on uh, one of the Koopa Troopa's heads and uh, by doing that you hit the A button and you have to do it like almost perfectly but if you do then the crowd gets into it even more and it builds up like your star power uh, which you can essentially use to uh, like the special ability that I have currently with Mario is basically you kind of shoot little uh, things coming down on the screen that kind of build up uh, your HP so it, it regenerates you essentially but they also what can happen is you can have enemies in the crowd throwing things at you and sometimes when you defeat enemies the set that you're kind of playing on because it's almost plays out like a play in how it's designed in the makeup of the battle system so sometimes the set will fall down on either you or the enemy or sometimes both and take away hp and also the koopa troopas uh, or the shell based guys, I guess uh, essentially if you jump on their head they fall on their back and then they're kind of useless They can't really work, but there is a character that I did encounter uh, That was near the water that you basically I gave a hundred coins to he's gonna dig for oil in the desert Not sure how that works, but I figure why not? Let me see what happens I haven't found any benefit so honestly if you go back to this game and you play it or if you played it and you did find the benefit, let me know, uh, let us know in the comments down below because I just, I haven't found any benefit. The 
Thousand Year Door is highly addictive and fun, but honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less from a Mario game, considering that the last game that I played was Odyssey, which I absolutely freaking loved on the Switch. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for me is a 5 out of 5. The game is absolutely incredible. It still holds up. I still love the art style. I still love the battle system. I honestly, I hope that a new Paper Mario game does get released or that they're working on it. It, that to be released in the future because I love the uh, the original Paper Mario game and I absolutely love this Paper Mario game. It, it's just so much fun. So if you can find this game by any means or you want to pay 400, almost $400 on Amazon to pick up a physical copy, uh, you can absolutely do that. But I, I mean, I highly recommend you play this game if you haven't already. It's, it's one of the best Mario games I've ever played. All right, now I'm going to pass it off to Rocky uh, to let him give his thoughts on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Paper Mario One Thousand Year Door is a follow-up to the Paper Mario from N64, which is an overall RPG that has a turn-based system for its combat. My co-host Jason played the original game, Paper Mario, however he had never played this sequel and I had never played either, so I was definitely interested to get on into it. Uh, immediately, the game of course sets itself aside by being a 2D Mario and various characters in 2D in a 3D world. It definitely adds an interesting and different flair to the animation style and kept my eyes intrigued seeing what's going to be in 2D versus what's going to be in 3D and seeing that clash kind of go together was really interesting especially when Mario jumps in bed and he kind of just slides in like a piece of paper it's just a really cool and cute animation style. And then on top of that again, the main thing that makes the difference here is it has a turn-based combat system, almost in the way I'd say of like Pokemon, where you go up, you find a character that is in the wild, and then you can engage it or they will engage you, and then you engage in a turn-based combat system where, depending on who engaged who first, you get the first, uh, you know, attack or they get the first attack, and you can choose between different weapons and whatnot, as well as later on in the game, you can trade off your different side characters and side health that have different abilities for various different types of enemies. The enemy variation is also pretty solid. You'll have, you know, regular enemies that can just be kind of attacked or stomped on. Other ones will have spikes on their heads so you cannot engage with them in any way other than like running through them or maybe like bashing them. And I think that it's uh, interesting enough for the combat to keep you intrigued based upon the different ways that the other NPCs will engage as well as figuring out and deducing the way that you can uh, you know damage an enemy is sometime a puzzle in of itself sometime you'll have these metal enemies that you have to go and get a pow block in order to destroy them And there's just different aspects like that that keep me engaged and wondering what's going to come next in this overall game. I also do like the map, it feels very Mario-esque, and the music of course is very great as well. I personally am just not the biggest fan of turn-based combat, but like I said, this has enough variation and differentiation from different games that it makes it feel unique enough and keep me engaged throughout. Overall, this game is going to be a 3 out of 4 stars for me, and I definitely recommend and you find a way to play it if you possibly can. All right, back off to you, Jason. All right, thank you, Rocky. And now we want to know your thoughts on Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, in the comments down below. Let us know, did you ever play the game when it got originally released on the GameCube, or it, is it one of your favorite Mario games, or maybe you never played this game and maybe you're curious about playing it, let us know in the comments down below, and also down below, you will find the description with me and Rocky's other socials, as well as a link to our main channel, Smoking Sessions, where we do movie reviews, first impressions, and so much more. If you enjoy gaming sessions, I'd be shocked if you didn't enjoy Smoking Sessions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, as well as subscribe, if you're not already so you don't miss out on videos like this from us in the future thank you so much for watching and or listening to this video we greatly appreciate the love and support and we will see you all in the next gaming session